Today I wanted to talk about Waveform's new product and it is the Ethernet window entry cable. Now these guys have been absolutely killing it in terms of new products that they've been coming out with. Now sadly it has been after I've already drilled a hole in the side of my house, but nonetheless this is good for everybody else. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what the product is, what you get in the package, and then we're going to go through a couple of different scenarios in how we can use it. You can use this for Starlink, you can use it for power over ethernet devices, but what I'm really interested in doing is instead of running ethernet cable throughout my house, inside the house, or drilling holes through my house per se, I'm gonna run it on the outside of my house kind of like a cable company would, and then use these little clips to go into the siding of the side of my house, but they're just very tiny short screws and then we're gonna run some RJ45 that way and see if we can get some good speeds from the upstairs because I'm using T-Mobile 5G home internet. And so my gateway is on the very top floor of my house. So I don't have ethernet ports anywhere in my house. I have to use Wi-Fi and I have a mesh system. It does work okay, but I'm betting we can get a lot better speeds with this new cable, so we're going to go ahead and test that out. Taking a look at the packaging here for the window entry cable, I really do appreciate how Waveform has went with some recyclable material. It's very minimalistic, and I appreciate how they've done that. Now, as you can see, everything you get in the bag is right here. We get the cable itself, and then you're going to get this little end piece here. I don't know exactly what this is called, but it does have a cap that um, threads on and off, and then there is a grommet in there as well and then you do get some mounting hardware. Now to show you how that grommet works real quick, it is pre-cut, so you're gonna go ahead and you can just pull that apart. You're gonna wrap that around your cable and then you're gonna run all of that through the end cap and then thread it all together. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a little bit when we get to it. We'll run a cable through there and I'll show you exactly how it works. Now for anyone interested, the cable is approximately 1.5 millimeters thick or four inches, it is 0 0.05 inches thick, which is not very thick at all. I haven't had any issues using this and I've had no water leaking in my windows since installation. The cable itself is approximately 10 inches long and that is between each ends. The actual overall cable length totaling is going to be just slightly longer than a ruler. Okay, so now I just wanna show you how to run the cable through this external piece really quick. Uh, we're not gonna hook it up to anything. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to just run your ethernet cable through the end cap and then you're gonna take the other larger piece and you're gonna run your cable through that. Now, at this point, we would ideally connect this to the actual window entry cable and we would thread it together so that we get the proper length. And then we would put our grommet on, slide the grommet into the end, and then take the little end cap piece and we would thread it down and tighten it up. And that's gonna give you your proper length for how much cable you need in there. But because we didn't hook this up to the actual window entry cable, I'm just doing this for demonstration so that you can see kind of how this works. So now I'm gonna go ahead and employ my son and we are gonna go ahead and run some cable on the outside of my house and see if we can get ethernet, from the top floor of my house all the way down to the basement. So let's do it. So just to show you guys what we're doing here, we're running it from the top floor and we're gonna come all the way down here and we have it going in that second window well on the right. Now ideally, we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna use some clips to run along the side of my house that look like this. This is what Xfinity uses in my area when they're gonna run coax. So we're going to just put the RJ45 through those clips and we'll get it all cleaned up and then hooked up and we will be back. So we have all of the cable ran. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the window entry cable actually in the window itself. And then once we have that done and we have the window secured and everything looks good there, we're gonna go ahead and then hook up the actual cable and then run that to my router. And then we're gonna go downstairs in my basement and we're basically gonna do the exact same thing. So for this process, I did need to use two of these cables, not just one, but if you were using this for like Starlink or a power over ethernet device or something like that, then you most likely would only need one of these cables. Now that we have everything hooked up, I wanna go ahead and run a speed test using our new ethernet cable that we ran in conjunction with two of the waveform 
ethernet window entry cables. And you will see here that we're gonna get a baseline over ethernet of 371.05 megabits per second down and 94.84 megabits per second up with a ping of 25 milliseconds. Now I want to go ahead and turn off the ethernet port on my computer and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi and I'm going to show you the speeds that I was getting prior to hooking any of this up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to rerun the same test using the exact same server on speedtest.net but this time it's just going to be over my mesh system using Wi-Fi and not using the waveform window entry cable. You will see here that it takes a little bit longer to connect, but we do get a ping of 26 milliseconds and we're going to get a download speed of 146.62 megabits per second down. And then we're going to get an upload speed that's actually quite close to the upload speed that we got previously and it's going to be 89 0.86 megabits per second up. So overall, we did get over double on our download speeds. Our upload speed stayed the same, but I'm very happy with what we're getting with this new cable. Now, the next thing I wanna try is I'm gonna hook this up to a power over ethernet device. I did order a camera and an injector off of Amazon. The camera that I used, I'll put the description and the link to the exact camera in the description, but I'm just gonna show you here that I have everything hooked up to ethernet and then I downloaded the app on my phone and I will show you that it is working. But the only cord that is connected to this device is the ethernet cable using this window entry cable and it's going directly to my router upstairs. Now I got the app downloaded on my phone. They do have an Android and an iOS application. And for the purposes of this video, I do have everything loaded on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I just wanna show you here that you can see me. I know the camera's not mounted, but it is working. I picked it up here. I'm gonna show you my phone and you can see that is me. I'm holding the camera and everything is working properly. Now I am using this with two of Waveform's window entry cables. You don't have to use two though. It would probably work better if you just used one because obviously the longer the cable is that you're using, you have the potential to lose bandwidth depending on how many feet of cable you're using. But for the purposes of testing, everything worked completely fine using the PoE injector that I purchased off of Amazon in conjunction with Waveform's window entry cable and this camera. And so overall, I haven't had any issues at all using this device. And when I say this device, I mean Waveform's window entry cable system. It works really well and it really provides clarity in the fact that you just don't have to drill holes for things that you would normally have to drill a hole for. And so I can't speak highly enough about a lot of the products that's coming out of this company right now. That's about all I have for this one. If you have any questions about this product at all, hit me up down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, peace.